Hi, I'm Courtney Bloomer with Rural Health and Nutrition Initiative by Healthy Communities Coalition. In today's video, we're going to talk about making a roux. Making a roux doesn't take very many ingredients, just flour and a fat. You can use any type of cooking oil, but my favorite to use is butter. A roux is a mixture of flour and fat that's used in cooking to thicken sauces. It's a building block for everything from mac and cheese to gravy to gumbo. Today, our roux is gonna be the base for a yummy, creamy cheese sauce for homemade mac and cheese. After you learn how easy it is to make mac and cheese at home, you may never eat instant mac and cheese again. Start out by melting about two tablespoons of butter in a saucepan over low to medium heat. We don't wanna burn the butter. After all the butter is melted, we're going to add an equal part by weight of flour. If you don't have a kitchen scale, you can use one part of fat to one and three quarter parts of flour by volume. For our recipe today, that's three and a half tablespoons of all purpose flour. We're going to stir these together over low heat until it forms a paste and the raw flour smell goes away. What I have now is a white roux. Different dishes call for different colors of roux. If I were to keep cooking this roux slowly and carefully, it would darken to a blonde roux, then a brown roux, and then a brick roux. The darker roux is the base for many Cajun dishes. We aren't going to let our roux darken today. We're going to add about one and a half cups of milk to the roux. You can see the mixture because beginning to thicken. Now we'll add about a cup of shredded cheese and whatever seasonings you like. I like to add a little garlic or maybe a pinch of cayenne pepper. We'll keep stirring, let that cheese melt down, and now we have a beautiful sauce for creamy homemade mac and cheese. 